What is good everybody, Sawsome. In this video, I wanna give you a super fast loot route for Drucker County so that you can get overpowered gear in under 20 minutes. This will set you up for good success. This video is not intended to cover every hidden weapons crate on the map. Rather, it covers a super fast, efficient, easy loop where you can get all kinds of good gear and guns very, very quickly. It's about speed. I would advise running this loop immediately upon starting a community in Drucker County on any difficulty but Green Zone will get you the best gear. If you like this video, in the description are links to my speed loot routes in Meager Valley and Trumbull. Here's what I got in just one run of the loop. It took me literally 19 minutes. I timed it. I got a Timberwolf rifle. I got a Mac V. I got a sighted AK. I got a couple first aid kits. I even got C4 and thermite grenades and all this other good stuff. In other runs, I've gotten the Infinite Rage, the G18 Auto Custom. Here's the map and the route. First, leave home base, hit this military checkpoint. Right behind it, there's a hidden weapons crate in the desert. I'll show you it in a moment after I show you the map. We will actually run through it together. From there, you want to head west to the 10,000 gallon hat. Climb it. At the top of it, there's a hidden weapons crate. Next, we're going to shoot over to the military outpost. There's all kinds of good gear here. There's a lot. I would advise making it an outpost and dumping all your gear so far. Bring a follower as well. Military trauma tent, loaded with good stuff. Then you're going to see a military checkpoint that you cannot loot, but if you stop there and head sharply to the right, there's a hidden weapons crate right out there. Then we're going to head south to the bottom of this W. Right about there is where you're going to want to park, and you're going to want to loot this uh, evacuation center, there's a hidden weapons crate there and a lot of other good stuff to loot. From there, a sneaky good little storage shed with lots of guns and ammo. And right here is a storage container right in the street. That's where I got the Timberwolf rifle. And then from there, with an eyesight, you can see a bridge. Under that bridge is a hidden weapons crate right there on the map. You can see how you can do this loop in 19 minutes if you're efficient at it. Head south, another military roadblock, usually that's loaded with good stuff, and another bridge will be our final stop for this loop route. And under that bridge, there's a bunch of containers, including a hidden weapons crate. Then book it on home and uh, dump all your stuff in, and you can run the route again if you want by going to the difficulty settings and go to the bottom where it says restart map. And you can restart the map and run the route again. Double your gear, triple it, quadruple it. Here's that first stop. Military checkpoint. You know those always have some good gear, maybe some nades, some guns, definitely some ammo. Uh, but you're going to want to loot that. From there, real quick, right behind it. You're going to want to go slightly to the left. See those two huge rocks right there? That's your landmark. Right behind it is a hidden weapons crate and a few other things that you can search. The shadow of the zombie kind of creeps me out a little bit right there on the left. That has nothing to do with anything. There you can see it on the map. So I was a little bit shorter where it was, but you can see it's right behind those two rocks. Easy. Got a hidden weapons crate and some other gear. I found the Mac V right here. I've literally been on the map a few minutes and I already got some good guns. Moving to the 10,000 gallon hat. You're going to climb to the top of it, go to the right. And you will see this hidden weapons crate, sword and some tradables. Cool. Next, the evacuation center, right next to the, the 10,000 gallon hat. Uh, you can see it from, from the other. You'll see it probably in the background. Uh, a lot of good gear here. And you may want to consider making this an outpost. Look at that, a grenade launcher. Dang. Uh, make that an outpost, drop your gear there. Good to have a follower, especially if it's in green or standard. They're pretty safe and you can load them up. Uh, let them carry your gear around. And right next to the evacuation center is this military uh, tent. And so there's good gear here. Usually you'll get a meds ruck. You'll get some ammo. Who knows? There's a lot of good stuff here. I love these things. From there, we're going to head south until we see that roadblock. You'll actually see it all play out because it's super close. That's why I love this loot route in Drucker County. I know it's not everything, but 19 minutes. It took me 19 minutes to get all this stuff. And so here's that um, military checkpoint or whatever you want to call it, but you can't loot it. However, you want to head to the right and you'll see uh, an outdoor uh, shower that they made, which is a great idea. The apocalypse, a rain collector, there's a few things you can loot, mainly this hidden weapons crate. I love the Infinite Rage G18 Auto Custom. I didn't find any of those on this run, but you're likely to find them. Then you want to head down to the, the bottom of that W that I pointed out to those of you who are a little less mature. You can call it a butt. I don't know. I'm probably in that latter group. 
uh, as I climb a ladder. And this one, unfortunately, was empty, but sometimes there'll be something there. There's also, what, seven things to loot here, and they're good stuff. Here's the sneaky good little shed and that storage container. So you're gonna head right here into this trailer park, and there's that little gray shed right there. Yeah, uh, what did I run into? I don't even know. Was it a seesaw? Seesaw? All right, I remember those things. So you're gonna shoot into that shed. I took the long way around. I could make the excuse that I was building up his cardio, but I just took the wrong way around. In there, look at this, dude. Dude, that's what you wanna see, all kinds of guns and gear. Uh, right outside of that is a storage container, and this is where I got the Timberwolf. The Timberwolf rifle, what am I, I've been playing 17 minutes from when I left the base, maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes, and I got Dune. Dude, look at that, awesome stuff. So you're gonna wanna run this route. From there, that's the container we just looted. Walking distance, bridge. Uh, you're gonna want to park it right about here, head to the right, and uh, make your way down there. And then you'll find this little encampment, and there it is. Some stuff you can search, including a hidden weapons crate. There you go. Alright, from there, uh, we're gonna hit one more military checkpoint right here. So, uh, pretty close, just down the street. A lot of stuff you can search. There's the C4, that's a good find. And the last thing on my loot route is this other bridge. So it's bridge, military, stop, and then a bridge. And you're going to want to park on the far side of this bridge. And I believe you're going to want to hang a left and go kind of wide. There's a path there that'll lead you um, down under the bridge. And there's a campsite down there with some stuff. And so this is how I'd like to start it. Yeah, if this was helpful to you, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. And you know we're going to keep on gaming straight through the apocalypse. There's going to be some other videos popping up on your screen right now. We're all about State of Decay 2, a little bit of DayZ. Join our community, check out the Discord, and a lot of good, positive, fun people to game with in survival games in that Discord. Thanks for watching, everybody. Again, hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment. And uh, this wasn't meant to get all of the hidden weapons crates. I know there's a lot more on the map, but it was about speed. I want to be able to get in, settle base, and in 20 minutes, have all the stuff you see in my locker right now ready to roll. All right, take care. God bless. We're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse.